Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about an application called Chroma Keyboard, which I think is the best virtual keyboard on Android right now. Chroma's layout and typing experience is similar to that of Google's stock keyboard, but I still consider Chroma as my favorite because it offers a very distinct set of themes and customizable options. And when it comes to personalization, I always prioritize it and is one of the main deciding factors for me. So uh, without further ado, let me jump into the application and give you a detailed walkthrough. Starting from the layout, I use a medium sized keyboard that takes up nearly half the screen. The keys are well spaced and they give my fingers enough room to type. The keyboard I have here is flat palette style with shaded separations. What makes Chroma unique is its adaptive color management, that is Chroma uses a smart color system where it matches the color of the keyboard to whatever app you are using. For example, in WhatsApp you get a green keyboard that matches the color of WhatsApp, on YouTube it's red and so on. It is doing all this automatically as you jump between apps. This actually gives me a refreshing feel every time and I really like it when the color scheme is uniform and is aligned to its apps. Now let me highlight some of the features on the keyboard. On the top we have an unique tab called action row. These are not random emojis but suggestions. It works on a concept called neural predictions where the keyboard will suggest emojis based on the words you typed. The predictions are quite accurate and this makes it very easy to add emojis on the go without having to switching the layout. Sliding we have a number row and an option to edit the about text. The tab right below is the word prediction tab. It is powered by smart AI and is supposed to give better contextual predictions. It is pretty accurate though I use it sparely. From here you can also access GIFs. They are increasingly becoming part of normal conversations nowadays and Chroma was quick to integrate this right into their keyboard. Then there is clipboard where you can access all the copied text. In addition to touch typing, you have the glide typing feature which works smoothly and even the smart auto correction is on par with that of Swift key and Gboard. For a relatively new app, this is quite an impressive feat because in the end all other features don't mean anything to me if I am not able to type fast and the keyboard doesn't keep up with my fingers. One final feature that optimizes my typing speed are gestures. Chroma offers a decent set of gesture controls out of which I use two frequently. One is swiping on delete button to increase the delete speed and the other is sliding on spacebar to move the cursor around. Switching to number pad, here you can alter the layout of numbers and this calculator style design is my favorite as it makes it much easier to enter digits. In the end, all these functions add up to provide a smooth, efficient and a pleasant typing experience. I mean, this is the best of what I can expect from a virtual keyboard. Now moving on to settings, uh, there is one feature I like to play with, that is themes. In addition to color adaptive feature, we can switch to an AMOLED version, which is basically a dark keyboard background. It looks flawless and blends with the rest of the screen quite well. Plus you have a night mode which recognizes low illumination and then adjusts the color of the keyboard to a darker shade so as to not blind you at night. When it comes to keyboard styles, there are plenty. I usually prefer a flat, palette or a gradient style. Then there are features related to keyboard input, languages and some advanced options. Chroma offers a wide range of customizable options. I mean, there are too many. Personally, I expect an app to have a very limited set of options that are only essential. When it comes to downsides, well, I hardly came across any drawbacks. However, I think Gboard's autocorrection is much more accurate than Chroma's. And Chroma definitely has a lot of room to improve in this space. Chroma is relatively a new application which was released in Jan 2016 and it has been receiving consistent updates since then. It has over 500,000 downloads and maintains a user rating of 4.4 on Play Store. Initially it was a paid app but then they made it a freemium app. That is the app is free but to further customize its looks and features you need to pay $2.99. To sum up, Chroma Keyboard does exceed my expectations in many areas and I think this is the best Android keyboard out there. I'll leave a link to the app below in the description, you can check it out. So that's been it guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any comments and do subscribe if you like this type of content. See you next week.